Hey, it's Bob Nagan, and in today's episode of Real Retail TV, we're going to explore the three pillars of retail success. I have been doing this a long time. <laughs> I had my own retail business for 19 years that I started from scratch with zero experience and zero money and a whole bunch of foolishness. And I turned into something. And then for 23 years, Susan and I have been doing whiz -bang retail training. So I have lived and worked and been part of the community of independent brick and mortar retailers for a long, long time. And I have watched. And here's what I see. I think these are three immutable pillars of retail success, that if you have all three of these pillars in place, you will be able to build a business that is sustainable. You will be able to build a business that you can walk away from and go on long vacations. You will build a business that has predictable cash flow and that supports you and your family and your retirement. In other words, you will build the kind of business that you deserve. And I believe that anybody who has put themselves out there and has become an entrepreneur, and yes, you are an entrepreneur. You're not just, oh, a little old shopkeeper. You're not a, just a retailer. You are an entrepreneur. And you, you deserve the very, very best that life has to offer because of the chance that you took and the sacrifices you made. Now, having said that, what are the three pillars? The three pillars are mindset, skill set, and structure. So let's back them up. Although they're pillars, it could be argued that this is a linear progression, but let's think of them as pillars. The first pillar is mindset. And here's what I can tell you. That if I speak live, that in any room, the same industry, the same situations, there are some people that are enormously successful and there are some people who are struggling mightily. And what's the difference? The difference may be market. The difference may be experience. But really, the real difference is mindset. The most successful retailers think differently. They have a different way of looking at it. They don't see things through the lens of fear. They see things through the lens of courage and confidence. They don't see things as being a uh, cost. They see things as investments. They're always working on their self. Self-development is one of the cornerstone habits of successful retailers, right? We're all born with... We're all born with stories that don't serve us well, but the right retailers, the best retailers are always looking to think differently, to do things differently. You know, Zig Ziglar had a great quote and he said, the quality of your input uh, affects the quality of your output. The quality of your output determines the quality of your life. So if you want to be a successful retailer, the one of the pillars is thinking correctly. And if you're not successful and you're not thinking correctly, this may be your call to action to become serious about personal development, to start to read, to start to watch YouTube videos, to find people who you can follow, who will help you develop the mindset that you need to have to be successful. But as the, the proper, the, the, the right mindset automatically leads to a curiosity about the skills that are needed. So you need to have skills. You can't just open your store and expect to be successful. I know a lot of people do, 
I know I did, but that's just not the way it works. So the process of growth is the process of developing skills. You know, people who are inexperienced, who haven't developed the proper mindset, see problems and want the problems to go away. The people who have the proper mindset see problems and understand that those problems point to the need to develop a skill so that the problem doesn't go away, so that the symptom of the problem doesn't go away, but the problem goes away. This is the process of growth. The process of growth is learning new skills, learning new skills, learning new skills. A problem comes up, you figure out the skill that's needed to solve it, you develop the skill, and then the problem mostly goes away. They don't go away forever, but now you know how to solve it. Now you know how to deal with it. There's 11 modules in the Retail Mastery System. Do you know why there's 11 modules in the Retail Mastery System? Because I had to learn all of those skills the hard way. Every one of those modules was developed as a reaction to a problem that I had as I was growing my retail business which is why people who are struggling and want to take their business to the next level, if they get over the fear of the investment and invest in the retail mastery system and get over the overwhelm of their work and actually dig into the information in the retail mastery system and do the work, apply it on their stores, all of a sudden start to see tremendous growth because what's happening is the mindset and the skill set are working together to create growth. They're working together to create what I call an upward spiral of prosperity. You see, the more you learn, the better you get. The better you get, the more confident you get. The more confident you get, the more you grow. The more confident you get, the more you grow. The more confident you get, the more skills you develop, the more, you know, it, it just becomes beautiful. This is the upward spiral that leads you to that success that you deserve. So mindset, thinking the right way, skill set, knowing what to do in almost every situation. And then the final piece is structure. When you understand structure, and by the way, this was one of the talks that we had at this year's Retail Success Summit that happened last week is this idea of when you create the structure once, you get to use it forever. Of course, you have to tweak it. Of course, you have to improve it. Of course, you have to add and subtract. But think about this for a moment. Structure. You build a marketing plan once, and that marketing plan becomes the structure for your marketing forever. You know, next year you'll pull out your plan and you say, I'm not going to do this promotion. I'm going to do this promotion. I got this idea at the Retail Success Summit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. But the structure has been created. Do it once. Use it forever. Your training program. Build it once. Use it forever. You're open to buy planning. Create the structure once. Use it forever. Your organizational chart, use it once, create it once, use it forever. So you see, this is how the best retailers work. They think correctly. They're always building their skills and they're building the structure so that when the structure is built, it doesn't have to be done again. Now, here's the beautiful thing. And this goes back to the upward spiral of prosperity. Whenever you develop the skills and whenever you develop the structure, all of those acts create mental space. And as you're developing those skills, as you're building that experience, as you're gaining that wisdom, you now have mental space to unleash your creative genius. So if you're not worried about putting out fires, you can think about how you can make your store the most awesome store it could possibly be. If you uh, already have a training program, 
You don't have to think about putting out fires with your team. You can start thinking about how you can build the best culture you could possibly build. You know, all of these things, they all tie into each other. So I hope that this idea, three pillars, will help inform you when you think about building your business. Because when you start to proactively work on all three, when you let all three of these pillars hold up the floor of your retail business, great things happen. This is where retail success really starts to accelerate. This is where you start to really, really reap the rewards that you are entitled to as a retail entrepreneur. So I hope that you found this helpful. Any thoughts that you'd have, I'd love to see them in the comments below. And I'm Bob Nagan, and we'll see you next week.